Mississippi mom charged after son found in Walmart only wearing diaper in freezing weather. This just pissed me off just looking at the daggone, uh, the highlight of it on the blogs. A five-year Walmart employee here in the Metro loses her job for posting a video that has gone viral. Felicia Darling says when the child entered the Byram store last week during record-breaking cold temperatures wearing only a diaper, well, she had to do something. I spoke to her tonight, and she says she knew she had to do something quick. Felicia Darling said something to the mother, as did a male customer. Here's some of the interaction. He came in here with that jacket on. Yeah, he did. That baby just had a pimp on. Yeah, he got on. I can't. She just an innocent soul. He didn't ask to be here. So I took action and I started recording her. Then it's in the video, she throw cold food on the baby. Yeah, don't do that. And he sadly just looked down. Somebody called police on her. It seemed like in his eyes, he was just looking for help. He was crying out for help. A man was telling her, you throwing cold food on the baby. Oh, I know you have a lion. Oh, I know you. I know she's not about to. Child, see, this is why I didn't need to see this. I'm going to remain calm. I'm going to remain calm. First of all, you bitch. You're going to come into the cold food section as cold as it was last week or week before. And then you're going to have that baby in there with nothing on. But you got your douchey, whatever the F it is, your ugly ass uh, sweater and your punk ass probably from daggone Goodwill, no offense against Goodwill pants, because you ain't got shit, which we can see. You one of these biatches that's out here that's going to take all that pleasure from Poop Nug, who ain't got nothing, ain't never had nothing, ain't going to get nothing. Get your ass pregnant, because like somebody said a while ago, y'all out here stealing everything but condoms, because you don't know how to have protected sex. All you know how to do is have effing babies. You don't even want these kids. This little boy, because it is a boy, probably look just like the daggone father that don't want your ass no more. So now you're going to treat that baby like shit because you can't do it to the daggone man because he ignoring your punk ass. But y'all continue to be out here having kids for people that don't want your ass. And then you're going to sit up here and try to act like you got attitude because you're doing wrong. Shout out to that Walmart employee for reporting your punk ass, you punk ass bitch. <laughs> And then the only thing that you could do is turn around and start twerking because that's tweet like a black American woman. You're not going to tell me I can twerk, go and twerk. Like somebody wants to see your funky black ass shout out to fucking, what is her name? Sexy damn red. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, you're not going to tell me. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. You heard what I said, because I'm going to tell you. You're not going to tell me. I'm going to tell you. I'm supposed to feel sorry for that bitch. I don't. Exactly, mama. Me either. <laughs> I'm trying to remain calm. I'm trying to remain calm. Your excellence says, and so does Coonley, they shouldn't have fired the worker. They fired the worker because she put a took a video in the store while she was working and she put it on the internet. That's why they fired her. It's a catch damn 22. She still did the right thing. And from what I understand, she had a GoFundMe. The only time that I support a freaking GoFundMe in order to get her money be until she's able to get another job at Walmart for that. But I guess they got to follow the policy. You really can't pick and choose when you're dealing with the irrational of the irrational, which is this bitch on the damn screen. Because black women don't do anything wrong. You can't talk about black women. Every time somebody talks about black women, it's a racist. You can't talk about black women. It's a racist. You got more questions. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump and you ain't black.
Lord, Lord, Lord. Shout out to EJ for another five. Appreciate you, honey. He says, can you donate to someone's prosecution? It, right? <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you on that. Probably not, but I'm with you on that. With you all the way. Shout out to uh, New Edition. Um, shout out to JoJo for another two. Thank you, honey. He says, please take us to the king. Ciao. Take me to the king. Truth is I'm tired. Yes, truth is I'm tired of you black biatches trying to act like you do nothing wrong and that the image is not being taken down and destroyed every damn day with every damn story with all these biatches and y'all be supporting the debauchers of the debauchers, but you're going to sit up here and try to talk about effing Corey Holcomb and that the, the woman, the mother is taking care of the child and he's a narcissist. Well, what is this cunt doing then? Then what is this see you next Tuesday doing then? Sorry, y'all. You ain't got no smoke for this? Where the smoke at for this? And then you know, per what we saw in the New York story, thank you so much, JoJo, they set up here and try to act like if you take a child away from a black woman, it's racist because every fucking thing that has to do with a black bitch is allegedly, supposedly racist. Knowing damn well it's not, you're just a cunt. Sorry, y'all. Now, see, this is why I didn't want to do this damn story. This is why I didn't want to do this damn story. Shout out to Trendin' with Charest. Thank you, hon. I appreciate the support. He, she says, I just watched this an hour ago. I snapped. Exactly. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of this shit. Telling her, you throwing cold food on the baby. She walks off at work. This is Tweet like a black American woman. All you know how to do is shake your funky black ass looking like a complete asshole. And then when someone says that black women are over-sexualized, you don't know. You can't tell her. That's what the black Africans do. It's a black African dance. No, it's a stupid ass shit that you do because you think that that's telling somebody. And what you're doing is looking like a half damn over-sexualized whore. Whore. I said it. I meant it. I'm going to let you know right now. Your mama's a hoe. It doesn't matter that that's your mama and what your certain feelings about her. Your mama is a hoe. She's a whole hoe. And if none of y'all can discern the difference between someone who's a decent woman and someone who's a fucking whore, fuck you too. I said it. I meant it. I'm sick of this shit. Fuck all of y'all. Not y'all. You know what I'm saying. I'm sick of this. We're not going to sit here and continue to allow you to allow stupid shit like this be the fucking representation of us. I'm not doing it. Fuck all y'all. Everything ain't racism. Y'all be fucking the fuck up, looking half damn crazy, making fucking mistakes, taking no accountability, blaming some damn body else. Fuck y'all. I will call you out every single fucking time. Every single time. I'm going to call you out. You don't like it? Kiss my ass i don't give a fuck i'm tired of this all this shit and then you don't even take care of these damn kids you know you don't want these damn kids why are you having these kids still you can't tell me you can't tell me mm-hmm mm-hmm no, no, no respect. You know you wrong. No respect. Your elder tries to. This is what I'm talking about. Someone an elder tries to tell you dumb cunt bitches, and you gonna sit up here and be disrespectful. That man is not being disrespectful. He's sitting up here trying to tell you, even though you know it's not right, but you don't give a damn because you just mad that some fucking man don't want you. That's why y'all out here forcing men to have relationships with you. You out here sexually harassing men because men don't want your punk asses. You out here trying to pay men a lot more money because you know these damn men don't want your punk asses. Because that's all you got is what's between your legs and it ain't nothing different than the rest of us. We all got the same shit. I know y'all think it's something special. We all got the same shit. Real women. It's all the fucking same. That man, please. Crazy. What the 
hell? Somebody call the police on her. Go ahead and give her a call two times. I keep paying. As long as you got hot water, fire extinguisher. But when you come in the store fully dressed in your baby's night. Right. Now, I'm going to right now. A customer in a riding shopping cart purchases an outfit for the boy and dresses him while the mother flips through her phone. After the lady in the riding cart put the um, outfit on the baby, she walks out of Walmart and, and started walking to our car. Was walking to our car, a cop was walking behind her and um, they arrested her and they took, they took the baby. Shout out to the oppressor. Shout out to the oppressor. This will be the same bitch that's on Section 8, begging Joe Biden for money, saying it's not right, it's not fair. Oh my God, how dare you do this to me? I got to do this because of racism. I got to do this because nobody will help me. I got to do this because uh, the baby daddy ain't ish. He a narcissist. He on drugs, but he will marry me one day. If y'all don't go straight to hell, straight to hell. <sighs> Look at this shit. This what she got up under that dashiki thing bullshit. Shit, whatever the hell it is. Looking, what what is this shit around? Was she going to the hairdresser? Is that what they did? What what the hell is this? Cambria Darby, child. They took the baby and CPS was called. Twenty-six-year-old Cambria Darby was arrested and charged with child neglect. Child Protective Services released the child to a family member. Byram police say Darby has bonded out. Of course. We reached out to Walmart after Darling was fired. This is their statement in full. Quote, we share the concern others have for the child in the video in our store in Jackson, Mississippi. We don't discuss personnel matters involving current or former associates. All associates are encouraged and empowered to use their judgment in contacting authorities when they see something that may be wrong. However, all associates are also expected to follow the Walmart code of conduct. I promise y'all the problem was putting it on the internet. <laughs> it's because she put it on the internet. End quote. Yes, I feel like I did the right thing. Because who wouldn't want, who wouldn't want to help an innocent child? Listen, I don't disagree. I don't disagree. You helped her. You helped him. Shout out to that lady. <laughs> She'll get another job. Someone will come through and offer her a job. Actually, I would expect you black biatches to come through with all your businesses because you know you making it, you doing it for yourself to call her up and get her a job. Since you so for the sisterhood, you so for black women, you so support good parenting and you know so much, I expect one of y'all, since you got all these businesses, to call that lady and offer her a damn job. Now, mind you, I know it's not going to happen because you're full of shit. But she will get another job, and I know that she got money from a GoFundMe. That I do know for sure. So hopefully that will tide her over until some. Walmart, I understand where they're coming from technically, but sometimes they got to look at things from an uh, individual basis. And in this case, the problem is the fact that she put it on the Internet. I know that that's what it is. Shut we do not care. 